Do you know that a lot of people who invested their money in real estate end up regretting investing in real estate and they wish they had done something different with their money? Of course, real estate is one of the greatest form of investment that is available to man today. But why are a lot of people regretting investing their money in real estate? There is a very big blunder that a lot of real estate investors are making. And I guarantee that if you go ahead to make that same mistake, you will end up regretting investing in real estate. So if you want to know that mistake that so many real estate investors are making, that made them to end up regretting investing in real estate, watch this video to the end and I'm going to be revealing that to you. Now let me first of all explain. The regret is not about being scammed of their money. The real estate investor, they were not scammed of their money. They didn't buy a property that is under dispute or that is under any form of encumbrance. The property which they bought is legit and there is nothing wrong with the property. But the mistake which they made, made them end up regretting ever making that investment. So if you want to know that mistake that so many real estate investors are making that made them end up regretting investing in real estate, stay to the end of this video and I will be explaining that to you. Now what is that mistake that a lot of real estate investors are making? I will explain with a story. A certain man who lived in the diaspora, he had lived in the diaspora for many years and he came back to Nigeria and he decided to invest in real estate in Nigeria. He bought a property and he decided to erect a massive structure. Now, being that this man has been exposed, he has seen luxury, he has tested luxury in the western part of the world and he wants to replicate that kind of luxury in his apartments. The apartment which he is building is for rent. He is not building for personal use. He is building that property for rent. Before building that kind of property, it is expected because the man must be thinking that as soon as I'm done building this property, that people will be rushing to live in this kind of property because of the kind of luxury, because of the way the property was built. But after building that property, one year, two years after erecting the structure, there is nobody who have taken even an apartment in that building. And of course, this is very, very painful to any landlord. Any landlord who build up, who finish building, they are expecting that as soon as they finish building, people are taking the apartment immediately. But unfortunately for this man, he finished building one year, two years after building, after spending all the millions to erect that structure, nobody has taken an apartment there. If you were to be in the shoe of this particular man, how are you doing to feel? So this is the blunder that so many real estate investors are making. It is not as if people are not available to rent that property, but the blunder which so many real estate investors are making is building the right property in the wrong location. That is a very huge blunder that every real estate investor should avoid. Building the right property in the wrong location. Before you build any property for rent, of course, building a rental property, it is business. And before you go into any business, it is expected that you sit down and you do your feasibility study to know if what you are bringing to the market, there are people who can buy what you are bringing to the market. It is important you sit down and you look at the income level of the people who are living in that vicinity. Are they people who love luxury? Are they people who can afford luxury? Is what you are bringing to the market affordable to the kind of people that are living in that place where you want to build that property? Because real estate is something that cannot be moved. Take for instance, you build that house somewhere in Ozoba and you decide to rent that house for 2 million naira per flat. The reason why that house will be vacant for a long time before people will rent it is because the people who are in Ozoba are not used to renting a 2 bedroom flat. 
or a three bedroom flat for two million naira. What they are used to is renting a two bedroom flat for 500,000. So your customer is not in Ozoba. The people who can afford what you have built in Ozoba are in GRA. And they cannot leave GRA to come down to Ozoba to rent your property. And since real estate is immovable, it is impossible for you to move your property down to GRA where your customer are. So it is very important that you build according to the standard that is obtainable in that location and you build according to the going price of properties in that location to avoid building a property that people who are in that location cannot afford. If you are building a property somewhere in Port Harcourt and the people who are in Port Harcourt cannot afford the kind of property you are building, you cannot move your property from Portaco to Lagos where the people that can afford that property are living. So knowing fully well that you cannot move that property, it is very important that you build something that match up with the kind of environment you are building. It is very important that you build something that can be affordable. To the kind of people who are already living in that location now in most cases when somebody's build up such kind of building and the building is vacant for one year two years because the people who are living in that location cannot afford that kind of building in most cases you see them reducing the price of the building so that people can take it so the best thing for any investor who want to build a rental income the best thing to do is to build something that match up with the lifestyle that match up with the income level of the people who are already living in that location it is not about building the best house it is more of building what the people who are living in that location can afford in another vein somebody can decide to build a property not for rent he decide to build a property for personal use it is at the same time very important to match the building that you want to build in that place to the kind of location you want to build it because it is expected that anybody who want to build a house should have it at the back of his mind that someday i can decide to sell this house now what will happen if you end up building a luxury apartment in a place that does not speak luxury in a place that the lifestyle of people who are living in that location doesn't speak luxury you will find out that if you spend a hundred million to build a duplex and the place where you build that duplex is a place that the lifestyle of people people who are living there are not interested in luxury you will find out that that property will be underpriced when you want to sell but when you take luxury property when you build luxury in a place of luxury the property will be overpriced so in essence what am i trying to say don't build a gra standard house somewhere in rumosi rather build a gra standard house in gra and build a Rumosi standard house in Rumosi because when you want to sell the GRA standard house that is built in Rumosi will be priced as a house that is in Rumosi not like a GRA standard house so always match the location with the type of house you are building so you can sell at the appropriate price when you want to sell you can build a luxury apartment for 100 million in a luxury place and you see people begging you with 150 million to buy that property but when you build a property of 100 million in a place that does not speak luxury in a place that the people who are in that location are not so consigned of luxury the property which you build for 100 million you may be surprised at the highest that people will offer to buy that property will either be even less than what you spent building that house or will be slightly above what you spent building the house because come to think of it anybody that want to buy maybe a house of 250 million will like to buy that property in a place that he knows that the neighbors people who are staying close to him the neighbors are people 
of high quality and high taste. Nobody will want to buy a house of 250 million in a place that the neighbors they are building bungalow, they are building a house that is off standard and a house that is outdated because the quality and the standard of houses in a location where you build your own property go a long way to determine the value of that property so before you build your property in any place even if it is for your personal use it is very important to build something that match up with the location so that even when you want to sell you can sell it at the right price but if you discover that what you want to build does not match with the location where you want to build it it is advisable that you sell that land that you have in that location that doesn't match what you want to build you sell it you add up money and you go to a place that speak luxury to a bigger place where the lifestyle of the kind of people that are living there is the type of property you want to build you build there instead of building in a place that does not fit the kind of luxury you want to invest in that place so if you have gotten value from this video please kindly hit the subscribe button click on the bell notification and do well to give this video a thumbs up till i come your way next time i'm your favorite trader chris asika bye bye